That's the cool mic here, and today we are doing a Total Freedom training video. So this will be used for Cool Crew and Total Freedom. So today I will go through some of the basic commands and just some general tips and strategies on how to administer on your first day as admin. So let's get started. Let's go on to Total Freedom. So I'm on Total Freedom. Pretty much all you really need at the beginning are a stick and a block. I personally prefer emerald block, it really makes no difference. But, so let's say we have a little wooden thing over here. Let's set that as wood. Um, so what the, this is called log stick. So this is what admins will refer to, it will be called log stick, and this is generally called the log block. So, um, yeah, so basically it just logs grief by hand before like any recent grief alley. So if let's say we do this and I put a block here, you'll see that so the coal mic placed emerald block, which is the block I just put down, and the coal mic broke wood. So yeah, that's pretty much how you discover grief by hand and it's something you will definitely need throughout your admin journey. So let's get get this back. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's just get rid of this, make it look normal. Um, yeah, pretty good. Let's just regen that. I'm just bad at world editor today. All right, so let's get rid of it. So there. Okay. So after that, um, there's some basic commands that you will need. So the first command is slash cmd spy. So this actually is short for slash command spy. So um, I can't type today. Command spy. So basically, once you do slash cmd spy, you will see all of the commands that operators are entering. So let's see, Connor935 entered slash warps. So it is in a lighter font so that we can distinguish between real chat and command spy. Right now, it's pretty calm, so you won't really see anything, I guess. Next command is slash social spy. Basically, you can just see commands of people. So if you have it enabled already, so if anyone messages a player, you will see it. So let's really be on the point. I think you guys do know what it is. Okay, let's do some admin stuff. C a verify. Um, I'm gonna do this on another comp on another screen so you guys don't see Lemon's IP. Whatever. Um, let me know when you've verified or add yourself. Anyway, okay, so the next command um, is slash op all. Pretty self explanatory. It just ops all the players on the server. This is a command that only admins can use. Okay. Next command is slash set l, which I believe is short for slash set limit, if that's actually an alternative. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. So slash set l basically just sets world, el uh, world edit limit to 2500. So if you actually do some large edits, it's sometimes you'll see like uh, world edit limit reach 2500, something like that, right? And pretty much that's all it does. It just it just uh, sets the world limit for all players, including admins, and that's pretty self-explanatory as well. So next one is slash NC, which is Nick Clear. Um, it basically clears Nick's. Like if we do EFO colors, um, it clears uh, NK and M and O and N N. So let's say we do Nick. And K, the cool one, Mike. Let's use that. Slash NC will change my name back to the cool Mike. And it works back for, like, let's say we do the, the co, NC, it goes to the co. And yeah, that's pretty explanatory. Um, the next command is slash RD, which stands for remove drops. Another um, alias for it is slash EW, which stands for entity wipe. Basically, it just clears entities not for. So if we, let's say we just drop like everything, we do slash RD, gets rid of it. Says zero entities removed, I don't believe it. Um, clear some lag, that's pretty much it. If you also shoot a bow and there are, let's say, arrows on the ground like that, you know, slash RD will also get rid of that. So that's pretty helpful. Um, the next command is slash status. Slash stat slash status. 
um, basically just tells you whether the server is running in online mode, true or false. That's really the only reason I use it. So that way I know if I should put in online mode or offline mode. It's mainly used for telnet admins, but can also be helpful for super admins. The next command is slash gc. So slash gc just tells you whether or not the server's lagging. So it tells you how long it's been up. It's been up three hours without crashing. The TPS is 19.42. Um, so anything above 19 is okay. And um, the rest is pretty. It just tell, it tells you like how many chunks are being used. It's a good idea to know if if the server's lagging. You can figure out the cause of it pretty much. And see if anyone's like. Um, if there are just too many chunks and whether or not a restart is needed on the server. Next command is slash radar. Let's go to spawn to do this. Slash radar basically just tells you who's near. So slash near basically says the nickname and how far they are, which works, I guess. It has that way, like, if let's say someone like um, X Ravax is doesn't have his name tech on because admins can do that, although I really use it. Um, it tells them that we're seven meters away. Like right now, it'd be like two or three, I believe. Um, it's it's two meters right now, so that way you have an idea who this person is. Slash radar just tells you who's near, which also works. Um, I personally like slash radar. It looks more organized, and I see their real name instead of their nicknames. That way I can actually match up a player, and it just works. It, radar generally goes pretty far, but slash near, one advantage is if you enter um, like a radius, it will tell you anyone within that radius. So you can see Andre um, is two... M 2 million meters away from me. That's pretty good. And the next part, I'm actually going to remo remove myself. So, um, let's remove myself through Clamforge. Anyway, so the next command is slash scene. So, slash scene, I can't type. Slash scene basically tells you how long they've been online. So, if I do slash scene Mike Line MC, he's been online for one hour and five minutes. And normally, if you're an admin, it will show an IP address. So, that's the main difference. Um, you can use the IP address, so let's say you get an IP, let's just say it's 1.1.1.1, you do that as an admin, it will do that, and it will tell you who uses that IP address. So, you can actually just use it to find out if anyone has been logging in with multiple names, so that's important when you submit a perm ban request on an imposter. And the next one is who is, um, who is basically just shows whether they're in creative or survival mode. So if you do such who is island in Sandy MC, which is a player right here, you'll see that he's in creative and you can see where he's located. And it basically, if let's say someone kills someone, so if you see like, uh, someone was slain by someone, which I unfortunately, yeah, like this one, slain by 360 XMI, you would do such who is 360 XMI to see whether he is in creative or in survival, but he was in survival earlier, so or not. Anyway, um, he was just doing some testing, so it was fine. The admin allowed it. Um, so now you know that um, on admins, it will also show the IP address, so that's one of the reasons why I'm not doing that. So now on to the next section of the training video. So I'm going to re-add myself. This next section is called punishment commands. So basically, um, it's for commands to like ban people, to smite people. So all of them, uh, yeah. All of them basically just they just do it. So on the server conduct policy, which is something you should really read, um, there are four categories. The first one is the perm ban offenses. The second one is the day ban. Third one is just administrative control, and the fourth one is things that are allowed normally. Anyway, um, so on perm bans and day bans, the first thing you would do is ban them for one day. So you would do this by doing such GTFO. So GTFO um, day ban someone. Pretty self-explanatory, but this does it for online players, and it will ban a player range. Hi. Um, it will ban a player range, like an IP range. So if you, let's say, you do GTFO on a player, and um, their IP was 1.1.1.1, it will ban 1.1. Star. Star. So basically, every um, any IP that starts with 1.1 will be banned, which is really weird. The next command is slash glist. Slash glist ban. Um, oh my God, go away. So Sheila's ban basically bans offline players. So let's say I wanted to ban um, someone, like uh, just anyone. Let's say I wanted to ban one of my cool crew operators for some reason. That one, Wolf, um, it would ban them and their last used IP address. And Sheila's unban would just unban. And that's the only way to unban, whether it's a temp ban or a GTFO ban. Just any type of bans, you would use Sheila's unban and their name. Pretty self-explanatory as well. So slash T ban. T ban is a five minute ban. 
instantly you would do tban name and their um, the reason before the reason is actually optional so let's say we wanted to tban the cool mic for testing one two three and you would say you have been temporarily banned for five minutes please read totalfreedom.me for more info and once you join you'll say um, temporarily banned and the reason and when the ban expires so let's go back um, as well um Nick off. So as well, um, temp ban uh, does the same thing. So temp ban would do player name, duration, and reason. So let's say I wanted to temp ban the cool mic for, if you wanted to do five minutes, you would do five M or five min or five mins, depending on how you want to do it. And if you want to do seconds, five S and hours H, and you would put a reason. I personally do temp ban, even if it's a five minute ban, it would be, be like, Ten minutes, cool mic. Five minutes, testing one, two, three. Because the reason shows up in chat, and I would prefer when that happens. So let's do that, and it will say the different thing. The cool, the name. Uh, temporarily ban the cool mic until um, twelve thirty three thirteen GMT, which is in five minutes exactly. And reason testing one, two, three. So this works even for years. Although you sh probably shouldn't do that. That's not a good idea. Next ones are slash mute. Slash mute basically um. You just mute the player for five minutes. You can't really put a duration, and Total Freedom Mod will automatically unmute in five minutes. So, let's say um, if we remove ourselves, I think this works. Hope we have mute powers through Archon. Mute the cool one mic, and I am muted, so I cannot talk. And if I do slash me, I can't do slash me because it's a block command, and that's pretty much it. I'm uh, just running, uh, making a training video. Just gonna let them know what I'm doing. And um, after that, that's mute, so pretty good. But you can still do commands, like if I wanna do slash GMC or slash GMS, everything works. It's just slash me that's blocked, and chat, of course. So I'll be unmuted in five minutes, but I'm too lazy to wait for that. So let's unmute ourselves. Um, the next thing is block command. So block command is slash block command or slash bcmd, which is a lot faster, of course. And, I don't have permission because I'm not an admin, of course. Anyway, um, slash bcmd, name, no reason. You would just use slash say. So, um, generally, if you wanted to do something, you would use slash say as a command, say, like, slash say, um, let's say, um, don't pvp in creative, or um, don't spam, things like that. And let's block commands. So if we do slash bcmd the cool mic, um, we can't really do any commands. So your commands have been blocked by an admin. So nothing would work. You can't do creative. We can't do survival. We can't do anything. Generally used for people who spam commands. Okay. Um, so next part is warn. So slash warn, name, reason. No one really uses this, but it's still a command you can use. So um, let's say I do slash warn the cool mic um, testing one, two, three again. I think warn works. Uh, no, I can't warn through Archon. Whatever. Uh, basically, I'll just say warning like that and what you did. So, like, if you do such warn the cool mic, don't PvP in creative. That's what you would see uh, in red. So, it would be like something like that. I'm bad at life. So, it looks something like that, I believe. <laughs> or was it orange? I can't remember. I, I, whatever, but it's something like that, okay? <laughs> anyway, the next one is slash smite. Smite is a pretty self-explanatory command. Um, oh, that's not how you add players. Anyway, I'm gonna add myself. Um, so slash smite basically just strikes lightning. Um, you can do slash smite player and a reason. I personally do slash smite player name, and then I would do slash say and the name. So let's say we do slash smite the cool mic. Say testing one two three and you could say like start saying no creative pvp or something like that and that basically covers all of the commands that you would really use um as an admin these are the most important commands elite so let's say we find a griefer okay let's hope we actually find a griefer sometime but um which with commands by you will, should be looking for specific things. So as an admin, you would develop like a better knowledge of what ops use. But generally, if you see like anything like slash dash set zero, slash dash cut, or anything weird like slash dash h sphere or just sphere in general, um, things like that, you should teleport to them. And 
admins have one special command that ops don't have and that's slash gmsp which is how you would go into spectator mode so your name would be a bit lighter in chat which lighter but you can't really see it or i'm just i don't know but so anything suspicious you should really teleport to them and you might be asking how do you roll back people so rollbacks slash rb is how you roll back players so let's say we make a giant mess over here um, you would do such RB the cool mic pull some back pretty cool I'm gonna actually undo myself because I was fixing oops I'm gonna um, and then if you want accidentally made a mistake you do such RB undo and the name as well and I'm just want to fix this because I actually fixed spawn earlier so I don't want to uh, do that let's just put this back because I'm not a griefer um as well of uh, you want to see like suspicious things like uh, that could be something you might want to teleport to so let's see what SKL is doing got me TBL SKL can't type today I still can't type so you see this you see like the walls been taken out a bit over here so let's grab our stick let's grab our e block or we can just steal that off of here that works too um, let's see what that did. Elite zero four one eight zero two broke bedrock. So we do slash RB. Elite zero four one eight zero two. You hmm, that's it. So as you can see, that was pretty minor. So I'm actually not going to ban. So flowers broke bedrock. Let's RB flowers. See if anything else they edited here. So you see they have multiple. I don't know what people are doing today. Is flower still online? Nope. So I'll just leave that as well because I don't think it's enough to ban. That's at least my opinion. So SKL, you see, broke a thing in the wall, and that was about five blocks or so. So I would temp ban SKL for five minutes for minor griefing. Uh, broke slash war PVP's wall. Boom, and that's a five minute ban. Minor griefing. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory, and that's for all physical things so actually someone verified so of course as a telnet admin that is my duty to add them add Raphael boom and welcome back and he's added so that's pretty much it and so that's pretty much it almost for this video one other thing is if it's rolled out of grief like slash slash cut um you would actually you have to undo them in a different way so let's say we slash slash one let's just take a chunk of this f1 uh, let's let's make let's make a wood house again um so let's say this was grief and with this um you, what you would do if you find this you would actually have to check the logs because wrote at it if you actually test it it isn't log but log stick so what you would have to do is use log viewer which um, you will find out how to use as an admin you get that on your forums it sends you to a link and after that you pretty much just do search slash slash that wood or the ID for wood which I believe is one which you can use a five actually I'm bad um, five and you would just try to figure out what that is so that's just do search slash slash set or slash slash replace those are pretty much the only ways they would be able to make something weird like this okay, and if it's not hand locked but sometimes if it's really far away you might not be able to find it anyway so that's just one thing you have to get used to but how do you undo this so you can do undo um, number of edits and name I believe it is so let's do slash slash undo the qu 10 the cool mic the problem is you actually have to spell it correctly, which is really ridiculous, and that works. And if you actually wanted to, um, like RB undo it, roll back, like undo the rollback, you would just slash slash redo, which works as well. That's if you they are offline, you have to do it this way, and you do have to spell their name correctly. However, I find this is easier. So slash GMC basically forces a player to run a command, so from name and the output command. So let's say I wanted to force myself to run a command you would do slash undo you would use one slash because it automatically puts in a slash and you would do slash gm cmd the quick my slash undo 20 because max undo's you can do is 20 on the server and once again you just slash redo this is what i personally prefer they will see that chat message too so yeah anyway 
that pretty much concludes it. I'm actually gonna just undo this because no one knows that's there. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and um, good luck on getting admin, guys.